Okay, I've been working diligently this morning to get the tail boom removed, and I finally did. It was a little bit of trouble, but it wasn't too awfully bad. The tail boom on the S12 is attached in six places inside, right here on each side and here, and then four places that you can see right there. And then back in the back, you can see it in the distance, is the clamp that has two bolts on the bottom that squeeze it together to get it out. And so I have got that accomplished and the tail boom is removed. Rands was nice enough to send me a new tail boom for only $850. If you look inside of this one, I hope you can see the doubler in there. We'll let the camera adjust. You can see the sleeve that's inside this tail boom. And that is what the upgrade calls for. Evidently, when you insert the tail boom and you clamp it right here, that's a stress point. So if you have a hard landing, that tail has a lot of moment arm and it could probably collapse that tube there. I don't know that they ever had any trouble like that, but I'm assuming that's what the directive is about. I want to take a second to show you some things on the old tail boom. Inside where it was mounted, there's some nut plates in there that are riveted in that I'm going to uh, replace. Um, as you can see, there was uh, some corrosion setting in on this one. And so I'm glad I replaced it anyway. And down here I've got to drill out those pop rivets, remove the builder's plate, and transfer all these holes to the new tail boom. Uh, I do have a building manual, an assembly manual for this plane, and so that is my next step. This is May the 7th, 2014.